In this video, I'm gonna show you a one product dropshipping store that's doing more than $66,000 every single month on Shopify and how you can replicate that success for yourself. Let's find out. Hey, what is up? In this video, I'm gonna teach you how to build a one product dropshipping store like this one that I'm gonna show you that is making more than $60,000 every single month and their actual strategy, what they are actually doing on Facebook ads, how they're building out their site and how you can build out your own successful one product store. But before we start, I do wanna invite you to my free zero to 10,000 per month step-by-step -step masterclass. The link is in the first in the description. And if you wanna win a one-on-one -on -one call directly with me to discuss your ads, your store, whatever you want, comment secrets, secrets down in the comments below. Subscribe to this channel and hit that notification bell and you'll be entered to win. All right, this is the store that I was talking about. It's called autobrush.com and they essentially sell a convenient toothbrush that lets you brush your teeth without actually brushing your teeth. So it's this little toothbrush right here, save you time, brush on the go. And it's also for people with limited mobility. I've seen in their ads and their Facebook ads specifically that they're using a lot of just targeting people that have arthritis or copper tunnel or problems with their hands that they can't really brush. So you have that marketing angle as well there. They've been featured in these three. I'm not so sure how real that is, but let's give them the benefit of the doubt. And then you can see that they just focus on that one product store. There's also other stores doing this particular product or other products in the same format as this. So we can go down, here's the products and testimonials, right? Some social proof and then enjoy the special offer. Another really cool thing that I saw in the bottom is that they have multiple bundles. So you can buy the single one, one toothbrush, one liquid toothpaste, you can buy two and then you can buy three as well and they don't let you buy them separate. So if you buy three toothbrushes, you're automatically have to buy three toothpaste. And this is really good because the sale is $135. If you get a cost per purchase on Facebook of like 20, 25 bucks, your profit margin here is absolutely amazing. And they have this, every time you click on the button, it just takes you to the bundles down there. You might be thinking, okay, how do I actually create this kind of page? And also before we do that, I wanna show you some proof that they're making that much money. If you click here on sales source, analyze store, if you wanna get sales source, link in the description, it will say that the domain was created two years ago and they're making 33,000 to 66 thousand dollars per month based on their traffic lately in the past couple months this is probably a bit more probably around the 70 to 80 grand ratio per month in sales so this is you can see their ads you can see the apps that they use their best-selling products obviously the toothbrush and you can go ahead and just buy on it if you get sales source just buy on the on the store a little bit more and if you want to create a store just like this one this is a bit complicated to create with just like the debutify team or the turbo theme on shopify so you can use the service called zipify pages you might have heard of zipify upsell which is a great upsell i definitely recommend it but they also have the landing page builder from Simplify, which we've used before. We don't use it now. We have a traditional, just one product store on Shopify with just a traditional theme, but this is a great way to make it easier for you and more, it's a lot beginner friendly for you to build out your one product store. Here you can see some features about Simplify pages. I don't work with them, they don't work with me. I'm not gonna talk too much about them, but I do recommend it. And here you can see the actual template. So they have this long, offer form which is the one that autobrush is using here you can see the testimonials in the middle are pretty much the same testimonials that you can see here so it's definitely that template that they've taken to their own brand so let's go a little bit more they also have other templates like articles or blog posts you might have seen these for like affiliate offers or just products that have to do a lot with like skin cream or just like you know simplify basically is owned by the guy that owns boom by cindy joseph which is a, a, a skincare cream and then you have the long form order page here you can see you know the templates the previews and you can choose from there but it's definitely one that i recommend and you can just check it out for yourself i'm not going to promote them anymore so we can see as well that on similar web if you put them on similar web and you can check that out you can just analyze the traffic and where all the traffic is coming from you can see that 56 percent of all the traffic of all those sales are coming from organic which is very interesting and then paid is coming 43 percent a lot of it from facebook if we go down here 100 percent of their traffic from social is from facebook now we're going to check out their facebook ads and exactly how they're marketing their product 
with Facebook. So you can see here in the facebook.com slash ads slash library, if you ever wanna find ads for a particular page, this is where you go to find them. Odobrush, it only has 1,000 likes on Facebook, which is pretty low. The page was created in April 2018, so more than a year ago, and then we sort by United States. And you can see that pretty much the ad copy on the top is very, very simple. So it only says, Autobrush is an automatic toothbrush that brushes all your teeth at once, and then it says, in only 15 seconds, you can get your teeth brushed and then a few features right here automatic and hands-free deep and well-rounded clean so they're just basically listing out the features they're testing multiple multiple videos just like this one here they're testing it with a couple and here they're testing it with just a single lady and then they have another ad copy which is you know it's been pretty much revolutionizing um, the morning toothbrushing routine and then auto brush is designed to specifically sewn in and clean your teeth in just 15 seconds So they're using that angle of the speed or of saving time by using their product And then it says save your time get yours here. They're using multiple different videos multiple different thumbnails My guess is that they're using thumbnails based on what they're targeting So on Facebook you can target certain interests that would fit a particular person obviously in this case if they're putting up a woman they're obviously targeting women or they could be targeting more women with this particular ad how i found them i saw an ad of a man using the product so they're definitely dividing them up in a female audience with female ads and in a male audience with male ads it's something that you can use for your particular product for your store whatever you're targeting and then in the bottom, you can see they're just multiple, multiple videos, multiple different people. Here you can see the guy, here you can see another woman, another woman, and then just multiple, multiple videos, different thumbnails as well. So you can see some thumbnails are just somebody holding the product, then it's another one with it in the mouth, then it's another one kind of grinning and really hard and just very strong expressions. So they're testing ads and testing ads, as well as different ad copies. So here you can see the auto brush is designed to clean your teeth in 15 seconds, three features get yours. So this. I'm guessing this one is the retargeting one. I still haven't been retargeted by them. So I don't know why I found the ad yesterday. So it's pretty much, you know, they're, they're just using multiple ad copies here, another ad copy, another ad copy. So they're really honing in into that safe time feature, but they're also honing in into just clean your teeth better. So it's not just a toothbrush, it's a full mouth cleaning toothbrush. They have those different angles of marketing and testing rigorously with different videos. Some people, what they do with one product, let's say they have like one product they wanna test or one product they want to advertise, it's a winning product, they're really confident in it and they just test one ad with like one audience or two audiences and it doesn't work and they're like, okay, drop shipping is dead, I don't like this, this is not a business. It, it's normal for the first ad or the first couple of ads to not succeed. It's normal for you to actually test a lot of ads, just like this company, they're testing multiple ad copies, multiple videos, until they find one that is working and then they scale and keep using that angle for that particular video. So if your first ad sucks, keep making better ads, improving, check your competition, what they're doing, check the videos here on the channel so you can improve and basically get better and better. And when you have that perfect ad that you can scale with your audiences, that's when you really nail the process. Now let's say that you want to create your own one product store that makes 60 grand or more every single month. What are the three things that you need to look for before you actually start that one product store? You need proven product and test it by yourself with consistency. A lot of people go into one product stores just picking a product that they think will sell or they're seeing a lot in the market and then they just go dive right into that and that's like a good way to lose a lot of money and just have not the right experience. I recommend having a store that is either a niche or a general store and then doing the one product as soon as you find a product that you trust and you get consistency for yourself because you need to prove to yourself and you need to prove to the ads account, you need to prove to the store that this is actually going to work as a one product. You're going to put a lot of effort on this, you're going to make a lot of different ads, a lot of different creatives, and the fastest, easiest way for a beginner or a person like you to do this is to already have a proven product before. One of my students absolutely crushing it right now, making about $60,000 in my mentoring program, had a general store, Find a winning product, create a, a one product store out of it, and now that one product store is making like three times as much as the original store that was the general one. So then you will also have a product that has a mass appeal and mass scalability, not a product for a very specific niche, a product that can also capture a lot of attention around the world, and then it's also profitable across multiple audiences. So if you're testing Facebook ads and only one audience or two audiences are profitable, 
it's probably not a good product to do the one product store because you need multiple, multiple audiences to test, a lot of lookalikes, a lot of retargeting, and just a lot of people to test. And also, if you can, multiple traffic sources. So Facebook, Instagram, and Google would be perfect. Having those three being profitable with this one product would be the ideal scenario. Now, how do you actually validate a product? So you wanna look at daily orders and supplier trending products. Let's go to an actual product page here. And what you wanna do is use the app Sales Source here, and you can just pull it up in the link in the description like we just used it. And then you can pull up the sales graph. So you'll see exactly how many sales it's getting per day. You can also do this in the AliExpress dropshipping center. But if you don't wanna do it, you wanna just do it easier by product page and not have to take the link and put it there. You can check the average sales, most sales in a day, least sales in a day. You wanna look for a product that is selling at least 15 to 20 orders per day on AliExpress with that particular listing to just be sure and have confidence in that product that it's going to sell later on. That's just the best way to be sure that that product is going to be profitable long-term. You don't want a product that has you know 20 sales one day, one zero sales the next day, one sale, two sales. It's not really a product to put a lot of confidence and a lot of work on. And then the next thing that you wanna check is also Google Trends and Google Search Volume. What I mean by Google Trends is just trends.google com in this example the car cleaner you've seen me talk about this a lot especially in the video that kind of went viral it has like 11,000 views right now the top products to drop ship in 2019 if you want to watch it somewhere over here but the car cleaner is a great product that is consistent so you'll see that for example from August 2018 it has a 91 percentage of search in Google or a 91 percent in Google Trends and then it goes down a bit to like 60 67 but then it goes back up to around 100 here and then 99 in April and now it's stable out at 97 to 100 right so this is a term or this is a product that is very very stable very profitable long term based on Google Trends and you also want to check out some tools like KW Finder if you want to use this tool it's it is a paid tool if you want to use a free tool you can use use uh, the Google keyword planner and just type it in there but we can see that Google has a 22,000 searches per month of car cleaner and then car cleaning products has 5,000 car detailing 164,000 so it's that so it's definitely a product that people are very interested in searching, searching, searching every single month. You want to look for at least 5,000 to 10,000 searches per month for that particular keyword or a keyword related to the product and have the CPC be around a dollar. Don't, don't have it be like $4, $6. The CPC is very important. It's going to tell you, okay, is it profitable on Google ads or is there just too much competition? If you just want to focus on Facebook, you don't have to put too much attention on this, but it is important if you want to do both. If you want to do Facebook and Google, the CPC is important. And we can see here, car cleaning kit, auto detailing, all of these are very, very popular keywords. That tells me this product has a lot of potential, a lot of scalability, a lot of people looking for this particular product. Another thing is also the multiple angles of marketing. If we go back to Odobrush, obviously it's a product based on multiple angles of targeting. And if we just looked at the ads, it's basically like one, it's just easiness of use. Like it's very easy to brush your teeth. Two, you save time from brushing your teeth. And then three, it's for people that have limited mobility, as well as four, right here, you reduce mess and clutter. And five, you get a deep and consistent clean, whereas just by brushing your teeth normally, you might not clean your teeth as properly or as your dentist might recommend. So they have multiple angles as to create ads from, and then just basically how to market the product in very different ways and very different angles, just very different methods of targeting that product and sharing it with their audience it's a great way to know okay this product is definitely going to be a winner or a mass scalable product before we go on i do want to congratulate daniel eller daniel eller for winning the one-on-one -on -one call from the past video if you want to win a call comment secrets down below subscribe and hit that bell icon so what to do next start your one product store journey but start it right there's a lot of people saying out there you know just pick a winning product that might be good and then just focus all your energy into it if you're a beginner if it's your first time drop shipping i would really not recommend that i really recommend going general going niche and kind of building it out from there and then when you have a proven product that's getting sales consistently is scalable then you put a one product store if you want to build a page just like auto brush then you can use 
simplify pages or just create a Shopify store. Offer that and obviously use Facebook ads, Google ads, Instagram. If you want to learn about those, they're all in the description. I have full trainings on Facebook ads, full trainings on Google. So you can just check those out. Subscribe to this channel. We're almost at 10,000, super, super close. So subscribe for massive, massive Shopify tutorials, course level content, and check the first link down in the description for the step-by-step zero to 10,000 per month Shopify masterclass. If you want to watch a case study of a store that does more than 170 thousand dollars every single month without facebook ads check the video right here it's a video right here you can just click it it's gonna be a square right here click that square right now subscribe to this channel comment secrets down below if you want to win the call subscribe hit that bell icon and you'll be on your way to making ten thousand per month every single month click the first thing in the description thank you for watching i will see you in the next one